Hello friends, welcome to my channel and web methods. Today we are going to understand how to use loops in web method. So let's begin. Go to your designer. Let's create a service. Create input and output. So here we will be using shipping order doc type, which is having a list of items. Create output as total price. For those who don't know how to create and use doc type, can check other videos from iButton. So here, what we are doing, we will be calculating the price of total items using loops. Let's insert map step, and here we will be we will initialize total price variable with zero. Now add loop step so what is loop so loop step is used to iterate array of items so items be like document list string list object list anything and it has one mandatory property that is input array if we won't give this property input array so loop will throw exception missing required property in array so this is a mandatory property so we'll put input array as item Let's copy. Now add one more map step. Now here we will add transformer to add the price. Now we'll test our service. So here we we can see total price is coming as 30 so that means our loop is working fine so loop has one important pipeline variable as well which is called dollar iteration so this is used to count number of times loop executed so let's say we want to know how many times our loop executed so for that what we'll do we'll insert debug log and we'll put message as Now, if we will check, we will get message as loop executed three times. And I hope you understand how to use loop in a web method. So if you have any comment or query, then please do let me know in a comment section. And if you like the video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.